Hi, dear students. In this video, I'm trying to explain you an important reagent that will be very helpful to you. In this uh, organic chemistry in five minute series, uh, this is another video which is very helpful to you. Let us see what is this in video. And here I'm introducing a reagent basmas rudo. And a basmas rudo is ever in every telepathy, the chetil perter, or basoma. Adevidanga, an organic chemistry on a e reagent to a organic compound, cherian on dina, react in a. Then what happens? Let us see. I am Ashok Alshala, student professor of chemistry, Kakatiya Government College, Hanam Konda, Parangal Arburn and Telangana State. Let us see what is our Basmas do in organic chemistry. That is nothing but red phosphorus in hydrogen iodide. That is the mixture of these two compounds. That is hydrogen iodide in presence of red phosphorus always produces nascent hydrogen. Then what happens in organic compound is treated with this, uh, our basmasura, that is a mixture of hydrogen iodide and a red phosphorus. Now let us see what happened to this one. Let us take an organic compound and treat with the red phosphorus and hydrogen iodide. Then it converts into the organic. Any organic compound, when you treat with this red phosphorus and hydrogen iodide, that will be converted into alkane. This is a very useful reagent for you in learning the conversion. Let us see what are these things. We have the different uh, carbo organic compounds that are alkanes, alkenes, alkynes, halogen compounds, alcohols, thioalcohols, ethers, thioethers, aldehydes, ketones, and other carboxylic acid, acid chlorides, acid anhydrides, esters, acid amides, amines, alkyl. Nitrile, alkane, isonitriles, nitroalkanes. All these compounds, when treated with the uh, this uh, reagent that is hydrogenated in presence of red phosphorus, simply they convert into the alkane. Let us see how does it happen. So let us take the halogen. See when it is treated with the red phosphorus and hydrogenated, ethylene converts into the ethane. How does it happen? Actually, how does it happen? I will just tell you that there is a pi bond during the reaction. A pi bond will be broken, this pi bond will be broken and it takes one hydrogen, it takes one hydrogen and converts into the ethane. Similarly, uh, how many hydrogens is required? Two hydrogens. Similarly, let us take the alkynes. Here the two pi bonds are there, they undergo broken and here when treated with the red phosphorus and hydrogen iodide, you will get <coughs> ethane. Here how many hydrogens it is required? It required four hydrogens and that four hydrogens are produced by this, this reagent. Now let us take the another compound is halogen compounds. When halogen compound is treated with the red phosphorus and hydrogen, it converts into the alkane. For example, methyl halide, it converts into the methane and hydrogen iodide. Then how many hydrogen chip is required? Say one hydrogen for methyl group, another hydrogen for X, that is going to be the two hydrogens in this case. Now let us go for the alcohols. Let us take the ethanol. And when treated with the red phosphorus and hydrogen iodide, it converts into the ethane. Now the oxygen converts into the water. OH converts into the water. Now let us see how many hydrogens it is required. One for the CH2, another for the water. Therefore, two hydrogens required. Now let us take the aldehydes. When aldehydes treated with the uh, this uh, red phosphorus and hydrogen iodide, our reagent converts into the alkane. For example, ethanol, that is acetaldehyde, converts into the ethane and the oxygen converts into the water. Let us see how many hydrogens it is required. Two for the oxygen atom, two for the carbon atom. Totally, it is four hydrogens are required. Again, let us take the ketone. It is acetone, normal name, and propanone is IUPAC name. When treated with our reagent, it converts into the propane. And how many hydrogen, the oxygen converts into the no doubt, that is water. Then how many hydrogens required for this reaction? Two for the oxygen, two for the carbon. Therefore, totally four hydrogens. Now let us take thio alcohols. Thio means when oxygen is replaced by sulfur. In any compound, when oxygen is replaced by sulfur, we call it as the thio, the term. Therefore, this is called as the thio alcohol. We have to remember this is called as the thio alcohol. In this way, 
in this way the term alcohol is replaced by thio when sulfur is present instead of the oxygen when thio ethanol when treated with this our reagent converts into the ethene and sh converts into the hps then it gets how many hydrogen it is required and one for the ch2 one for the sh therefore two hydrogen is required now let us take the other ethers ethoxyethane this is uh, upac name and normally it is called diethyl ether when treated with the red phosphorus and hydrogen iodide because there are two ethyl groups are there you can observe here and therefore we will get two molecules of ethane then the oxygen converts into the water now guess how many hydrogens required then here one for two for the one for the ethyl group one for the another ethyl group and two for the oxygen totally four hydrogens are required now let us go for the another one thioether just now i told you when oxygen is replaced by sulfur we use the thio term that's why it is called thio ethoxy ethane when it is treated with our reagent simply converts into the ethane see how many hydrogens required sulfur takes two hydrogens two ether groups takes the two hydrogen therefore totally four hydrogens let us take the carboxylic acid here acetic acid and uh, its iubac name is ethanoic acid when it is treated with our reagent it simply converts into the ethane and the uh, how many oxygens are there two oxygen there for two water molecule see one oxygen takes the two hydrogens and another oh takes one hydrogen the carbon will take the three hydrogens here actually it will take the three hydrogens totally 1 2 3 4 five hydrogens uh, six hydrogens are required this is not five this is going to be the six hydrogens remember one hydrogen is here it is going to be the six hydrogens here it will take one more hydrogen because it needs the what we call it as the ch that's why it needs how many six hydrogens it is required now let us take the other one acid chlorides it is called acetyl chloride is its uh, what is called as its uh, normal name ethanoyl chloride is its iupac name when treated with the red phosphorus and hydrogen iodide it will give the ethane and the oxygen will water and hcl is formed how many hydrogen c to c here here also we need one more hydrogen here because we know that here it is actually uh, six hydrogens it is needed because uh, there is three hydrogens uh, is taken by this compound that's why this carbon take the three hydrogens that's why we need here also six hydrogens in this way see in this way we need the six hydrogens in this case and the three hydrogens for the carbon two hydrogens for the what it is called as the oxygen and one hydrogen is taken by the chlorine totally six hydrogens are needed now let us go for the acid anhydrides c when treated with the our reagent it converts into the two molecules of ethane it is called acetic anhydride or ethanoic anhydride and here this is going to be the one ethane molecule converts and this is another ethane molecule that's a two then let us see there are three oxygen this is converted to three water can you guess how many hydrogen it is required two for this oxygen two for this oxygen two for this oxygen and three for carbon this is three for the this carbon totally how many there are 12 hydrogens are required and let us go for the another one esters here ethyl acetate or ethyl acetate is its common name ethyl ethanoate is its iupac let us see how does it is happens there are two molecules of ethane because here this converts into one ethane molecule and this converts into an ethane molecule and the two oxygen will produce two water molecules you see how many hydrogens this oxygen will take two hydrogen this ether takes two hydrogens and here this oxygen takes two hydrogens but you remember the carbon takes uh, uh, not two hydrogens it takes one more hydrogen because it converts into the ethane therefore we need eight hydrogens not seven we need eight hydrogens we need eight hydrogens for this kind sometimes you may get in an uh, interest test how many hydrogens are given by this uh, red phosphorus and hydrogen in that case you have to know how they are converted for example you take amides acid amides it is an acetamide iupac name is ethanamide 
and when treated with this uh, our reagent it converts into the ether and uh, nh2 converts into the nh3 oxygen converts into the water see how many hydrogens here also it needs one more hydrogen remember here it needs one more hydrogen because it converts into the uh, ch3 this in this way it converts into the ch3 totally it needs how many hydrogens not five it is going to be the six hydrogens it needs this is going to be the six hydrogens now let us go for the another one amines ethanamine or ethyl amine is common name ethanamine is iupac name treated with when treated with the red phosphorus and hydrogen hydride converts into the ether and nh2 converts into the nh3 now tell me how many hydrogens ch2 takes one hydrogen nh2 take one hydrogen totally these two hydrogens are needed now let us take alkyl nitrile nitrile means cyanide here it is two pi bonds you have to remember now this is methyl cyanide is normal name and uh, here may that is uh, methane nitrile is a uh, upac name okay now cyanomethane we can say when treated with the our reagent it converts into the simply uh, that is uh, ethane and here nitrogen converts into the what you see ammonia see how many hydrogens carbon take three hydrogens nitrogen take three hydrogens therefore it converts into uh, six hydrogens are required for this conversion now let us take the methyl isocyanide see in this methyl isocyanide you have to remember one important point is here it is a back bonding here remember it is a back bonding in this case now when it is treated with the uh, reagent it converts into the methane this is going to be the one methane molecule and here this is ammonia and another it needs another hydrogen that means here this carbon also takes uh, converts into the another methane molecule finally you will get uh, two methane molecules a uh, totally eight hydrogens are needed now let us take another one is the nitro alkanes let us say nitro uh, ethanamine uh, this is wrong name and here when our nitro uh, this is the name is here the name is nitro ethane its name is nitro ethane this is called as nitro ethane is its iupac name its iupac name is nitro ethane now in this nitro ethane when it is treated with our reagent simply it converts into ethane it converts into ethane see here and then here the oxygen two oxygens are they convert into the water molecule nitrogen is convert into the ammonia see how many hydrogens are it required one hydrogen for ch2 three hydrogen for nitrogen and four hydrogen for two oxygen therefore totally eight hydrogens are required okay with this uh, uh, i can say thank you for watching this video if you say it is a uh, useful then you to share it and subscribe my channel thank you thank you one and all for watching this video and i i am trying to give you some more videos on this uh, concept that is organic chemistry in 5 minutes keep watching my channel